Okay, in this problem, we're looking at uh, the question of what type of vertical curve, would it be sag or crest, and what minimum length of curve is needed if the approach grade is 1.34% and the departure grade is minus 7%. The design speed is 40 miles per hour, and PSD, passing site distance, must be satisfied. So the first thing I would do here would be to sketch in the curve to determine if it's sag or crest. Uh, since we have a positive approach grade going in uh, at a positive, our G1 is 1.34%, and that's positive, so that's going up. And then our exit grade is steeper. It's uh, going down, and it's a minus 7%. So my G2 is a minus 7% grade. So that is a crest curve uh, with an entrance grade going uphill and an exit grade going downhill. So now the next question is to figure out what length of curve we need for that. So we're going to use our length of curve um, formula that L is equal to Ka. Uh, we know that A is going to be the algebraic difference of our curves here. So in this case, A is going to be that minus 7, our G2, minus our 1.34. And we'll take the absolute value of that. So we would have uh, minus 8.34, but with our absolute value, we get 8.34 for our A. And then for our K value, again, PSD. Uh, passing site distance must be satisfied. Remember, we've been using these tables uh, for stopping site distance for crest vertical curves. But now, uh, we're looking at passing site distance, so we're on to this table um, for crest vertical curves. And we'll come here. This is dictated by our design speed. And in our design speed, uh, in our problem, the design speed is 40 miles per hour. So we'll grab uh, 40 miles per hour off of this chart. Remember, the first value you'll see here is the passing site distance in feet, but we don't want that. We want the k value. So we'll continue over here to get our 129 for our k value. And remember, this side is metric. We're not using that one. So just looking on this side for 40 and picking off our k value, the fifth value down here is 129. So we just plug that into our formula, L equals Ka, L is going to equal that 129 times our 8.34, we leave that in percent form, and uh, if we do that math out, we'll go to the nearest whole number, uh, we'll get 1,076 feet for that L. So 1,076 feet, and it is a crest curve.